Yeah, that's it. Hey, Seed One, Hollywood Zero. Whew, that was a hard job. Insert the flesh, a uh, flash, a uh, flush disc? What, what flash disc? And where am I to insert it? Insert the flash, insert the flash disc. I should do it quick. A wooden pendulum clock with a switch and a computer slot in the side. There's one more thing I wanted. Yes? If I may, Mr. President, that computer wants me to insert a flush. Would you know what that means? What? What flush? <laughs> oh, you probably mean the flash disk. <laughs> you aren't the technical type, right? I've always been more into picture books than PCs. Look, I don't have a flash disk here. I only have my personal hard drive. But the cable I have here has too much plastic around the connector, so I can't plug it in. So, I don't know if that will be any good. I didn't understand half of what you just jabbered. But if you have something like that flush, give it to me. That's all for now. Good. Damn, it really doesn't want to fit in. Did I try it the right way? Yeah, I think so. It's just there's too much plastic around that metal connector. I guess this isn't the ideal method, but I'll try to cut it off a bit around the end. I hope that it'll still work without a bit of plastic. And it's done. No, you'll fit in, won't you? That's it. I'm a qualified tech specialist. Where can I plug it in? Hmm, uh, this slot looks like the right one. Complete. Remove the disc. I'll do that gladly. I wish I crossed this technical doodad off the list as soon as possible. Okay. But what next? I really wonder what's going to happen. I hope I haven't done it all in vain. I've got it! I've got the list! It's a pity that if I don't save those nearly dead people, nobody will really care. I can see that Billy Cario left another message here. Let's have a look! Hi, Hayseed. Be so kind as to hand this letter over to the dear ex-president. I want him to read exactly this when he gives the award for best actress in a supporting role. Ladies and gentlemen, on account of the infamy and betrayal of the whole film academy, I hereby quit my position? as Film Academy President in favor of a brilliant thinker? William Cario? I believe he's the only person who can eradicate all the depravity deep in the roots of our musty association. Thank you for your attention, and now I'd like to ask the new president to say a few words. I hope it's clear to you. He's to read it during the thank you speech slot for the actress in a supporting role award. If he doesn't read it, or he reads it all in a different time, Los Angeles will be full of fallen and motionless stars tonight. Prep him psychologically for the reading. I'll keep a close eye on him during the award ceremony. Damn fool! I'll have to act quickly! It's already half past seven! It's beginning in 30 minutes! So, I've finally found that damn list with the Oscar winners. Here it is! Hooray! I finally have it. I didn't believe it would be found anymore. You're amazing. 
the Oscar tradition won't be interrupted. Thank you so much. You're welcome. But have a look at this, President. I hope you'll stop doing stupid things and you'll do what he wants you to do. No, no! I can't do it! If I do it, Cario would destroy the whole film academy! The family of the great Dionysius must never succumb! Never! You fool! People will die because of you! It's breaking my heart, but it's only a small price to pay for the survival of the academy. Look, here's a ticket for tonight's Oscar ceremony. If you want to risk it, go there and try to stop it while you can. You are a terrible man. Such people should be frying in hell. I know. <laughs> I know that. Well, then I'm off to the Oscars night. But I can't say I really feel like it. <laughs> the luxury just breathes at you here. Let's meet the stars. All the dead squirrels and minks here could be worth 100 million. If my moral principles weren't so strong, I would frisk them briefly. I don't normally do it, but when else can I get my hands on such luxury goods? But I must do it discreetly, or that bespectacled idiot will notice. So, what did I get here? A handkerchief. Huh, what a scoop. I'll borrow the pen for a while. How many things have I borrowed? It's a pack of office papers, tied together by a plastic band. A nice crystal glass ashtray, and I can see it's quite full. Good evening. I'm going to the Oscars. The hall has been closed. So just open it to me. I have to get in. The hall has been closed. Look, Mr. Braun, I have an extra special VIP ticket. So let me in kindly. And if you can't see well, take the sunglasses off. On the other hand, I understand the sun's scorching here. It seems it's a valid ticket. No doubt about that. But I won't let you in. What? Why is that? Firstly, you don't have a suit and tie, and... That doesn't matter, does it? It does. It's necessary to maintain a level of elegance. Secondly, I don't believe one bit that the VIP ticket is yours. How dare you accuse me of lying? If you apologize at once and open the door, I won't complain about you at all to the president of the academy. Sorry, we're on alert. I have orders not to let in anyone I have suspicions about. Are you kidding me? So how am I supposed to get in there? There's no other entrance, and I'm letting you in. Only if you prove that you belong in. Listen, you klutz! I'm a detective, and I'm investigating a very serious case related to the Oscars. And if you don't let me in, something terrible may happen. Very well. But you can't get in. You stupid, half-witty, lousy, idiotic... If that's all, leave, please. I won't search anymore. Handkerchiefs aren't worth the nerves. There's nothing up there. Just an alcove with a view of the garden. A noble medal is won over plastic again. I have this idea to write a fake letter from the president, which I could then present to the halfwit at the door. I'll put one paper down, and I'll try to put something down on it. And the permission is ready. All I need now is the president's signature. But the president is already inside. 
And for me to get inside, I need his signature. I hate these vicious circles. I'll return the pen. I won't need it any longer. Oh yes, that could work. The president's signature is on the stamp. Damn, it's almost dry. I'll have to dip it in some ink. It's an ink pen. Of course, there's ink in the fountain pen. I'll dip the stamp in it. First, I'll take the pen apart. Yeah, it's a cartridge pen. I can't get the ink out of it. I love these old pens. As a child, I always chewed on the ink cartridges. And my mouth would still be blue two years later. Yeah, those were the days. A dismantled fountain pen. First, I'll have to get the ink from the cartridge. I'll cut into the cartridge a little. Damn it, so much mess! Just junk these days, obviously. I'd better not do that. If I put it into such a pool, the ink will drip from it, and all I'll do is ruin the letter. I need to soak up the ink into something. Great! I'll make an ink pad for the stamp, and clean up the mess at the same time. And the stamp is ready for office. See? One stamp, and even this sheet of paper is golden! It looks professional, I'd say. Except for my scribble script. But what does some brawny minion know about the president's handwriting? <laughs> I'm taking the permission. The handkerchief did its work perfectly. <laughs> the handkerchief... A nice crystal glass ashtray. And I can see it's quite full. It's a pack of office papers. Here, I'm bringing you the permission from the film Academy President himself. It allows me to enter, you needlessly big door block. Show. This highly important, brilliant detective, blah, 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 permission to enter all parts of the hall. If you don't let him in, you're fired, blah, blah, blah. You'll be thrown out onto the pavement and fed to the carnivorous cockroaches. Good lord. Is that enough for you? Please, accept my deepest apology, detective. Of course, you can come in. I would say so. You're lucky I didn't bring the president personally. Otherwise, you'd be begging in the street now. I apologize very much once more. Of course, you can enter the hall. I'm happy to hear that. Blimey, what a hall! It'll be hard to find that scoundrel Bill among so many people. Good evening. Yes, it really is. Excuse me. Where's your formal suit, sir? I have a special exception. I'm investigating the Oscars case. Ah, uh, yes, I apologize. You look quite tired. Is there something wrong with you? No, nothing. Thanks for asking. It's just that I've been on my feet all day. You know, the Oscars are a hard job. Uh, I really believe you. I almost hoped they'd cancel them as planned. But at least I have a job to do. They wanted to cancel it today? Of course not officially, but when we were getting ready here, there were a lot of nervous people. Everybody thought the list wouldn't be found and that we were working in vain. Luckily, it turned out well because the prize giving has started. Yeah, yeah, it ended up well. Have you noticed anything suspicious during the evening? Not really, just one little thing. This is my fifth Oscar ceremony, and I have never seen an actress go backstage before the start of the evening. But perhaps she had an arrangement with the host, or, or something. Which actress kept going backstage? I don't know that. I didn't recognize her. And do you at least know what dress she had, or something like that? I don't know. Perhaps golden, just as almost every woman here. They think that if the color matches the price, they might get it. <laughs> well, thank you. So, an actress. I bet it's one of the nominees for supporting role. 
just as that scoundrel Billy Cario wrote. Perhaps she's somehow linked up with him. You mentioned the backstage area? Where could that be? Behind the stage, of course. Yeah, sure. And how can I get there? There are entrances at the sides of the stage. Thank you very much. Don't mention it, but why do you want to know? I thought the list had been found. That's true, but it isn't over yet. It isn't over? They haven't gotten the thief yet? Do you think he could be around here? I can't talk to you about it. Come on, please. I could help you. No, we mustn't cause a stir, but keep your eyes open. I will. Don't worry. That's all for now. Thanks. Not at all, sir. A luxurious pair of gold tweezers? A celebrity probably plucked their star eyebrows here. Anyway, it's gold, so I'm taking it. Nobody knows I'm here, and Barack isn't looking. That must be the door to backstage. Hmm, it's locked. Of course. Uh-oh. Can I ask some more? But of course. The door to the backstage, that's the small door on the right? Yes, that's it. Hmm, it's locked. Really? That's strange. I thought it was unlocked because the actress went there so often. Mr. Salzberger probably lent her the key. Mr. Salzberger? Yes, Salzberger. He's one of the main organizers. He's the only person with the backstage key. I see. And would you know where Mr. Salzberger's wandering right now? As far as I know, he should be in his box on the balcony. And how would I get to the balconies? Over there, at the edge, there are stairs that lead directly to the side balcony. Thank you very much for the information. You're welcome. That's what I'm here for. Uh, that's all for now. Thanks. Not at all, sir. Greetings, sir. Don't bother me, man, or I'll miss everything I won. Uh, okay, sorry. An annoyed filmmaker. Gorilla or no gorilla, I must go up. I hope he'll let me pass through. Great. He hasn't even noticed me. There's no time to spare. I must quickly find the guy with the key before it's too late. Hello. A good evening. <laughs> Listen, I'll get straight to the point. I urgently need to know what box Mr. Salzberger is in. I'm sorry, but I can't tell you that. Why not? What's wrong with you all? Listen, I'm trying to prevent a terrible disaster. Do you understand? I urgently need to know where Mr. Salzberger is. Unfortunately, I can't give you this information. Just like that. What? What do you mean, just like that? Don't say just like that and talk straight. Let me put it differently, then. I'll tell you if you fill my pocket. <laughs> fill your pocket? If you hate having empty pockets, put a handkerchief, stones, or something in them. Oh, good grief. Give me a bribe, okay? Ah, that's it. I get it now. You greedy scoundrel. I'm trying to save the day and you want money from me? See? Even such a total rube gets things from time to time. But I have no money on me. In that case, you'll just have to imagine, Mr. Sulzberger. Ha! The wallpaper is peeling off here. There's a small mistake here after all. All the perfection and luxury have started getting in my nerves. Where is Mr. Salzberger sitting? Unfortunately, I'm too poor to tell you that. What a bastard! There could be as many as 50 doors here. I can't try it blindly. There could be... As a botanist with many years of experience, I can say that this flower in the vase isn't a dandelion. But they take good care of it here. The flower has enough water. There could be... Where is Miss... Unfo what a ba... What about this, you profiteer? Will that be enough? Do I look like a junk man? I want money, and not some cheap fashion accessories. I'd say it's real gold. It's heavy enough for that. Not interested, sir. Get the money. My goodness. I must find a different job. I'm a nervous wreck.
There's nothing up there, just an alcove with a view of the garden. It seems that even Mr. President has come to the prize giving. I must save him by any means. It'll be better for me not to talk to him. We have an unwritten deal that we don't meet in public. Can I ask some more? But of course. I would like to ask you which box Mr. Salzberger is sitting in. I don't know that. My colleague knows about the balconies. Ask him. Well, I asked him, and that scoundrel wanted money from me. That sounds like him. I don't think you'll budge him otherwise. Hmm, that's great. And couldn't you lend me some money? I'm sorry, sir. I don't have any money on me. Hmm, that's all for now. Thanks. Not at all, sir. The door to back... The door to backstage. I'm very sorry to disturb you, sir, but... Shh! Quiet! But... Could you lend me some money? <laughs> well, that's incredible. What's up when the panhandlers bother you at the Oscars? Hey, listen, old codger. I'm not a panhandle. I'm a detective. And I urgently need to bribe a potboy with money I don't have on me. Oh, in that case, I don't have a dime. Come on. It's embarrassing, but I need the money. A few hundred will be enough. What? Hundreds? You must be mad. Look, mister... What's your name? Really? At least you're an original scrounger. It's been ages since I met someone who didn't know me. I'm Jack Mickelson. Mr. Mickelso? So, Mr. Jack, it's a matter of life and death. Listen, perhaps I would lend you a little, but under one condition. Just tell me, but know that I am not stripping off. I really didn't mean that. I'd like to get some cigs from ya. Cigs? You mean cigarettes? Exactly. They took mine when I came here, and I've been sucking nicotine out of my fingers for two hours. But smoking isn't allowed here. E even I know that. I know that, too. But withdrawal symptoms are so bad that I would have myself waterboarded for a few drags. Fine, okay. I'll get you your cigarettes. Rely on me, sir. Fine, but be quick, because otherwise I'll bite my nails to the flesh. I have a feeling I saw some cigarette butts on the table in the entrance hall. I hope to do something about it. I'd better not climb onto the stage. Yes, there are stairs on the sides, but Bill would certainly notice me, and I don't want that. Yeah, I could use these cigarettes. I hope there's still some tobacco left in them, but I'll have to wrap them in some paper. Well, I don't think I'll find better paper here. I can just hope I'll be able to roll the cigarettes. I'll tear papers for two cigarettes. And I've got it. There's not much there, but it could be enough for two cigarettes. Yeah, precisely. I'll wrap it nicely, and the cigarettes are ready. My dexterity will never stop to... Damn it, it won't work this way. I'll have to glue it together somehow. But how? First, I need some glue. It won't hold together this way. I'll leave him alone. Where is Mr. Sunfort? What? Uh, the wallpaper has remains of dried wallpaper glue underneath. I could perhaps glue the cigarettes together with it. Should I disgrace this Swiss army knife with glue? Such desecration would mean goodbye to my chairmanship of the MacGyver Appreciation Society. I need to come up with something else. The ticket is nicely sealed. I could cut cheese with it. Great!
I'll glue absolutely nothing with this powder. I need to moisten it somehow. First, I need some glue. It I'll glue absolutely nothing with this powder. I need to moisten it somehow. But they take good care of it here. The flower has enough water. I must do it carefully. A few drops of water will do. I don't want to make a runny sludge out of it. Done. I hope it's good. The ends of paper are nice and sticky. I hope it'll hold together. Now it's running like butter. It sticks together brilliantly. I hope he won't mind the gluey taste. At least it's gonna have a kick. <laughs> I'm bringing the cigarettes for you, sir. Damn! What took you so long? Quick, give them here! Not so fast, Mr. Filmmaker. Give me the money first. What do you mean, give? It's land, isn't it? You are going to owe it to me. Yeah, sure, my fault. Lend it to me, then. Fine, fine. But I only have 60 bucks. Is that enough? That'll be just about right. Here you are. And now, give me the cigarette. No problem. Here you are, sir. I guess you have your own light? What the hell is that? Is something wrong? Well, firstly, it's about twice as big as a normal cigarette. Secondly, it's wrapped in some weird paper. And thirdly, it stinks like a bucket of paint. I admit, I had to improvise somewhat, but it's still tobacco. If you like, you can give it back to me. No, no, it's fine. Uh, you can go. Thanks for the loan. Where is Miss- Unfortunately, I- What a bastard! Okay, you stinker. Here's 20 bucks. And now tell me, which box is Mr. Salzberger's? For this, I'll only tell you he's in one of the boxes on this side of the hall. But there are about 30 boxes! Very true. Fine, here's another 20. Spill the beans now. Add 20 more to that and I'll tell you. Okay, here you are. So where is he? Mr. Salzberger is sitting in a private box. The door number is 33. Why did it have to take so long, you bastard? Just you wait. I'll have my revenge. Thanks. <laughs> Come again. Hello, Mr. Salzberger. Uh, are you there? Don't disturb me, man. I just missed the presenter's joke. Uh, could you come here to the corridor, please? It's about a serious matter. Forget that. I just made myself comfortable in my seat. Look, I am Detective Hayseed, and- Hayseed? Why didn't you tell me at once? I'll be right with you. Finally, someone who knows how important I am. Pleased to meet you, Detective. I would personally like to thank you for all you did to find the list. Mr. President Bacchus has already informed me of everything. The whole Academy is very indebted to you. That's nice to hear. But I haven't finished my work. What are you talking about? The list of winners has been recovered. That's true, but the person who stole it is still running free. And I'm sure he's right in this hole. Right here? At the prize giving? So why are you standing here? Go and catch him! It isn't that easy, Mr. Big Shot. I, I definitely don't want to scare him. If he knew we wanted to arrest him, he would get scared and do something horrible. What do you mean by that? He could start killing people, for example. Good lord! Moreover, I have this suspicion that he's in disguise here, so I wouldn't recognize him anyway. So what are you gonna do? What do you need from me? 
I need a key to the backstage area from you. I hear you're the only person who has it, and I need to search it urgently. Sure, sure, no problem. Oh no, it's gone. The clip must have fallen off somewhere. What, a clip? Don't worry about that. I need the key before it's too late. The clip is the key. Each year, there's a different code to the lock on the backstage door. And I always get the new code before the start of the ceremony punched onto a gold tie clip. Why don't they just write it on a piece of paper for you? That's not fancy enough. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. What can we do now? I can't remember the code. You don't remember? Oh, that's really great. How can I get there now, huh? I don't know. I'm sorry. I believe you'll manage somehow. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. Of course! It's Salzburger's tie pin, not tweezers. The code on it is 4223. And how nicely the lock slid out. Let's see what's inside. Stop, sir. You can't go in there now. Uh, what do you mean? You've just sent me there yourself. I know, but the statuettes are going to be handed over in a minute, and nobody except for the staff can enter the back. Man, this is about the fate of the whole civilized world. Down there, there's a crime scene, or, or perhaps a future crater. All right, fine, but you only have a minute, so move it. As soon as the prize giving starts, you must get out of there. Uh, let's go. Hurry up. A uh, cupboard, statuettes, uh, cellar. Uh, some mason jars are missing. Now wait, wait. It won't work this way. The potboy wasn't measuring my time with a stopwatch. Don't panic, but something is really ticking in here. So many shining domes, and it runs till midnight. Quite a nice handkerchief. There's even a nice inscription on it. It'll work out for sure this year, Leonardo. Well, although it isn't for me, I'll take it anyway. The ticking is coming from this direction. If the psycho stuffed this cupboard with explosives, I'll be blown to orbit and need a spacesuit again. Damn, there's something suspicious. I'll have to check it. Hmm, it's locked. I can't get in with a lockpick here. The wardrobe must be really old, because it has one of those big, solid keyholes. I can't just go on stage. Billy Cario will see me. He could get alarmed and start to kill. So many shining domes, and it runs till midnight. I should shoot it off, but the wardrobe would catch fire. I need to moisten it around the lock. Really? There's some noise inside. Almost as if someone was kicking their legs. That's really strange. Damn it! It really doesn't work. But I must get in there somehow. must find the clip. That blockhead has lost it somewhere. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. I really... Peeling wallpaper. The only little flaw in the local perfection. I'll leave him alone. I've taken enough. The president is among the spectators. I must save him. There's nothing up. The handkerchief did its work perfectly. <laughs> it's a pack of all. 
a nice crystal glass ashtray. I won't search anymore. Handkerchiefs aren't worth the nerves. Maybe I could moisten it with a handkerchief, but not when it's totally dry. I'll leave it. Maybe I could moisten it with a handkerchief, but not when it's totally dry. I really... I must find... And now the handkerchief is nice and wet. I hope I haven't damaged the beautiful inscription too much. That should prevent a fire. I hope the laser won't go through the other side. <laughs> okay, let's lock stock and barrel. It doesn't really matter if it blows up now or in a minute. I have to risk it. What a bomb! Actually, sex bomb to be exact. Man, what are you doing? Only a few minutes left, so get out of there! Just a moment. What on earth are you doing there, woman? <laughs> I can't chat much with you this way. God! Better? Thank you. Thank you so much. Ouch. I've been here for hours. Untie me, please. Ah, I know you. You're an actress, right? I watched one of your films with my ex. It was something like The Angel Wears Puma, no? Yeah, that's me. Ow! Release me, please. And who the hell tied you up? I... I don't know. A lunatic. He, he dragged me in here, stole my dress, put it on, and stuffed me, tied me up in, in the wardrobe. So that was Billy Cario. And what did he look like? Normal. A normal man. Release me, please. Did he have a tattoo on his back by any chance? He did. A, a huge one. It, it was a skull and grapes. That bastard, Billy Cario. He disguised himself as a woman. I really wouldn't. Are you by any chance an Oscar nominee? <laughs> yes, I am. For a supporting role, right? Exactly. For my absolutely brilliant performance in Unity. A lot of reviews said that I was... Yeah, yeah, sure. So that's why Billy Carrier wanted the list. He needed to know the winner so he could be certain he would get on stage. He stole your clothes because you're going to win. I am going to win? <gasps> that's great! Yes, it's happening. What was it that Billy Cario said in the letter to the president? Swap positions with me during the supporting role award and... and that he'll keep a very close eye on him during the ceremony, wasn't it? Of course! He'll keep a close eye on the president 
because he'll be on stage with him. The guy mumbled something about the president when he was playing with the Oscar on the table. What? He fiddled with the statuettes? Yeah. He replaced a statuette with another one that he'd brought. Sure. His company makes the statuettes. He must have stuffed a bomb into that particular one. Uh, gas or something like that. In the letter, he wrote about fallen and motionless stars. I'll have a quick look at it. Thanks a lot. Come on! Untie me first! I'm Anne! Ha! Later. Time's running out. First, I must take a close look at those statuettes. Where are you, Annie? Vin unleaded. Best male performance in a car chase. Hmm, that's not it. Can't be. The cars are better actors. Brittany Javelins. Best visual effects in a circus show. That's not it either. Here it is! Anne Hathaway. For the best female performance in a toilet. Uh huh. A, a role in the totalitarian film, Unity. But I can't see anything here. Damn, it looks normal. And, and now we have, have the long awaited, awaited award, award ceremony. ceremony. Damn, damn, damn! I've got so little time! I can't see anything there. I'll magnify it a little bit. Got it! The small red button which says, Press to reach space. That must launch the bomb, and the timer is there just to make it safe. The and when the president doesn't make the correct announcement, he'll just launch it with this button. Timer or no timer. And, and the, the first, first nominee, nominee is, is Anna, Anna Hathaway. Hathaway. What are you still doing here? Ow! Now! The nominations are being read! I have a panic here, so don't bomb. I, I mean the other way around. J just don't disturb me now. I must make sure this bomb doesn't get into Billy Cario's hands. And I must do it quickly. The time's running out. What can I do? It's going to be presented in a few minutes. Untie me, please. I don't have time now. I've got it! If I put the plate from Anna's statuette on another one, Billy Cario won't be able to do anything. He'll get a normal one, and the bomb will stay here. Now for the difficult steps. One, don't poop my pants. Two, don't push the button by mistake. Or one, don't two, and don't push either. Whew, that was close. Now I can enjoy the ceremony. I hope it ends well.